welcome to use any technique that you have learned already out of fact. I would like to uh, arrange the terms in this of this polynomial in the box. What goes in the first box? X. The first term, which happens to be x squared. What goes in the last box? The, the constant, which is 6. Now, what's going to go here is whatever terms we need to, to add up to negative 5x. So I know I'm going to have some x's here and here. That's where the negative 5x. The question, the challenge to this problem is to know how do we split up the negative 5 so that we get the properties that we need. Now, you recall that in a multiplication table like this, the product of the, of the two terms along this diagonal must match the product of the numbers here. So we do a quick x game here. Only the numbers. We don't worry about the x's. The x's will take care of themselves. It's the, the coefficients. I have a 6 and a 1 right here. 6 times 1 is what? 6. The product of these two numbers is 6. Then I need this product to be 6. And the sum of these two numbers has to be what? It has to be whatever that term is because we need it to add up to those. So negative 5. Now your job is to find the solution to this x game. Did anyone figure it out? All right, negative two times negative three. If you have questions on how to do that, you, you, can, you can check with me, but this is what I've asked you to, to practice. This is the hardest part of the process of factoring, finding this, these numbers right here. So now you're gonna have a negative two a negative 3. Does it matter, by the way, if I put the negative 3 here and the negative 2 over here? No. What's the last step? What is the last step in this factoring process? We look for the common factors along the, the, the columns and the rows. And remember that you look at the, first, at the first term in the column on each row, and if that term is negative, you factor a negative factor here. In this case, it's a positive x squared. What do these two have in common? What, what, an x, so we're going to factor x. What about negative 3x and positive 6? What's a common factor? Negative we can pull out a negative 3 out of these two guys. So negative 3. The common factor here. And the common factor here. Negative 2. Negative 2. Now, before you go on, right, Just it takes you five seconds to check this to see if it's correct. Just multiply and make sure that you get all the terms that you have in the box, make sure you didn't mess up with the signs carelessly here. X times x is x squared. X times negative 3, negative 3x, three that works. Negative 2 times x, negative 2x. And what is negative 2 times negative 3? Positive 6. Everything's in order. So I know now that the factor formed of this polynomial is x minus 3 times x minus 2. Okay, you gotta practice this. There's no, no getting around. Four is a common factor for these two terms. Is there a four here? No. No, we don't have a common factor of four because in that particular term, there's no factor of four. Looks as though we don't have any GCF that we can factor, so we're just gonna jump right into the box and arrange my terms. Here I have x squared, here I have, what goes here? Negative 32. Negative 32. Again, I need to figure out how I'm going to get my negative 4x in these two squares. I'm going to need some x's here and some x's here. But how many? That's what I need the x game for. I know the product of the two numbers here has to be the same as the product of the two numbers I'm looking for. What is 1 times negative 32? Negative 32. So I need the product to be negative 32. And what do they have to add up to? They have to give me this negative 4x that I have in my original polynomial. So that's your job, to solve that x game, and that's a challenge. So if you haven't yet, let me give you a minute or so to, to solve this, this x game. Find me the two numbers. Don't call them out loud. Just, just write them down in your paper, and if you have them, try to finish the box and the factory as far as you can go.
Aaron, do you have the two numbers that work for this one? Uh -huh. Negative 8 and 4. Negative 8 and positive 4. If you check, the product will give you negative 32, and the sum will give you negative 44. That's perfect. That means that now we know how we're going to break out that negative 4 in these two boxes. We're going to use a negative 8, and we're going to use positive 4. And now we go through the process of pulling out the common factor for each row and each column. What's the common factor here? Common factor here? Positive. It goes have a 4, and since the first term here is positive, it's going to be a positive 4. Don't forget to write plus 4. It's not x4, it's x plus 4. What about here? What's the common factor in the first row here? X. X. And here? A equals into both, but since this term is negative, I'm going to put negative A. Now remember, if you mess up the signs, don't worry because you'll catch it right here when you do your quick check. X times X, X squared. Uh, X times 4, 4X. X times negative 8, negative 8X. And negative 8 times positive 4, negative 32. Perfect. Everything matches. So now I'm ready to write my, my factor form here x plus 4, x minus 8. All the, all the terms have a coefficient. Uh, all the terms have an x in it. Uh, so we, we, when we check for a GCF, we notice that in this case there is a GCF. What, what is the common factor that I can pull out? They all have a 2 in common, so let's factor out a 2. We don't need the box for that. And what else do they have in common? Yes. They have 1x. What you must do now is figure out um, what, uh, what is left. What do I need to multiply times 2x? I will write that in this parentheses that when multiplied by 2x will give me uh, the original polynomial. 2x times something is going to give me 2x cubed. What's missing? I need an x to the second power. Now check. 2x times x squared. 2x cubed. That was correct. Plus, what do I multiply times 2x if I want to get 16x squared? 8x squared. We need an 8. Do I need an x squared here? No, an x. Just an x because x times x will give me x squared. Perfect. And to get a 30x, 15. I don't need an x because I already have it over here. 2x times 15 is 30x. All right, now, in the past, up to this point, whenever we had GCF, that's how, where we stopped. You pull out the GCF and you're finished. Now, we, we know enough to say, well, it may be that this factors a little more, like one of these. So what, what you do now, you apply the box method to this, to this polynomial in parentheses. Leave a little room here if you're going to do your work right underneath. You can see you may want to write your answer here. Now remember, we're not even considering the 2x at this point. All we want to know is this quadratic factor that we have in parentheses, can we factor it some more? So what goes here? X2. X to the second power. What goes in the last box? 15. I know that the 2x is going to have to be split up right here. I'm going to put some x's here and some x's right here. Now, how we break out the 8x, well, that's where the x game comes in. We need two numbers that multiply together. I look at the product of the two coefficients here. 1 times 15, 15, 15. and uh, these two numbers have to add up to 8. So you have that x game to solve. I'll give you, I'll give you a few moments. Again, I think that that's the trickiest part of the process, being able to, to solve that X game. <coughs> All right, what were the numbers? Three and five. Three and five. Three, and five. Three times five is 15. Three plus five is eight. Excellent. 
So right now I'm going to write right here three and five. And then I go through the process of factoring one more time. Common factor in the first column. What do they have in common? X. X. Common factor in the second column? Positive. A positive five. So I write plus five. First row? X. X. And in my second row? Three. Positive three. So true or false, my answer is going to be X plus five times X plus three. What's wrong uh, with, with that answer? Uh, what is it? 2x is part of my answer. If I write this as my answer, many of my students do that. They do everything perfectly. They get to the box and they factor that out and they see the two terms. They're so happy they got it and they write it down and then they get it wrong on the exam. Because if you multiply this out, you're not going to get the original polynomial. What's missing? The 2x. The 2x. Don't forget the GCF as part of your final answer. Don't forget the GCF. Okay. Any GCF right here? Can we pull out?